and welcome to Super Scores. My name is Steven and I review and rate the popular movie scores that are out there. Today I'm going over the score to Life of Pi. Life of Pi was directed by Ang Lee and was scored by Michael Donna. Now this is a really pretty score. I expected that, especially with the cinematography of this film. It's very beautifully filmed and has a lot of really cool and colorful CGI in it. As far as score goes though, I'm not super impressed. I know this film got an Academy Award for its film score, but uh, it was really repetitive. I remember like it was the sixth song and I was like, wow, it's using the exact same theme again and it's not changing it very much. It has a lot of cool elements in it in that it doesn't synthesize a lot of the sounds that you hear. They're just the instrument's pure sound. You also get a lot of foreign sounding instruments, which makes the soundtrack seem a little bit more fresh. Overall though, there isn't a lot of emotion to most of the songs. There are for my top three, but uh, just the other songs, they just kind of sort of set up what's going on in the scene. They don't really give you any emotion of what's going on. In terms of sound though, like, I really like a lot of the sounds here because, I mean, you can hear the ocean, you can hear the sizzling heat, you can hear the fear. The score has a great mystical feel with it, which goes along with the story of Pi and his search for religion. Like I said, there isn't a lot of variety uh, through the tracks in terms of just having different themes and different light motifs. And also within the tracks, it can be pretty repetitive sometimes, and so I had to downgrade it for that. And also just in terms of variety, different kinds of music, yes, the music is very beautiful, but it's not that different. Like, each song is kind of the same. I like it when the score has, you know, some action music in it, and some emotional depth music, and some mysterious music, and all these different kinds sort of make the score feel a little bit fresher, or you get like a lot more in the score, which is a lot more fun. This one uh, just kind of has one type of song, and that's why I didn't care for it so much was because I felt like I was just listening to the same song just over and over again. Overall though, I gotta say this score is very soothing. If you just want something you can play in the background and do yoga to, um, I don't do yoga, but I assume this would be good music for that. I'm gonna go over my top three songs for this score. Number one is Simpson. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. I like it because you get the sense of loneliness that Pi feels after being abandoned in the ocean. It gets me right there, you know? You also feel the vastness of the ocean in this song, and it really just drives home that feeling of just deep loneliness, and it just doesn't back off, and that's what I really like. It really embraces that. It, sometimes songs get to a certain point where they're hitting like a certain emotion, and they just stop shy, or they get it and then they just go away. This one just drives it home, and I really like that. He just doesn't lay off of that. My second favorite song was First Day, First Night. Again, it felt like Simpson in the terms of it just had this really great emotional depth to it. He has like almost no hope, you know? He's lost in this gigantic ocean with a tiger. And how's he gonna deal with this? My third favorite song was Tiger Vision. This one had a lot of mystical feeling to it. This song sort of encapsulates Pi's understanding of the tiger and being like the tiger and embracing it. You also really got to hear the ocean in this song as well as the heat. I just, there's this one part in the song where I just feel like it's representing just the scorching sun. You can almost feel the sun scorching as you're listening to it. If you're looking for a beautiful soundtrack, I definitely check out Life of Pi. It has a lot of really good songs in there and some really emotionally impactful songs. But overall, ah, I gotta say, it just was very repetitive, lacked variety, and the main theme that they used just didn't really grab me. It wasn't that interesting to me. I'm gonna give Life of Pi a D plus. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you like this video and you would like to see me review some more scores or other scores that you really like, comment below, tell me which ones you wanna see. Also, you can contact me 
at Twitter at Superscores Wars. Thanks again for watching, and I'll hope to bring you some more Superscores.